guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the ever problematic issue of temperature overshooting. Although it's a pretty rare occurrence, we have seen it happen from time to time. Let's take a look at some possible causes for that and also how to fix it. One of the more common reasons for overshooting would be either infiltration or thermal interference with the air handler mounted on the wall. Since the air handler's thermistor is located on the bottom right and pretty close to the wall, this is very easy to trick the thermistor into thinking it's either colder or hotter than it really is. When the unit's installed on the wall, either an interior or an exterior wall, we highly recommend sealing that penetration so that we can prevent any infiltration or thermal gain or loss. Also keep in mind, if the air handler is installed on a, say, shared wall with an attic, well, that's gonna pose a pretty big issue where it's tricking the thermistor into thinking it's hotter than it actually is. A great way of troubleshooting this cause would be to take a temperature measurement at the air handler. We can remove the bottom right corner on the wall-mounted unit and take a temperature measurement behind here. This will give us an actual reading of what the unit is sensing. So if it's 72 degrees in the room, but we measure behind the unit and it says it's 80, well, that's thinking the room is actually 80 degrees. Your best bet to resolve that is to try and seal that hole as best as you can. If the unit's still overshooting, even after you've sealed up the hole, you may want to consider using a remote thermistor. I like to use our MHK1 controller kit. What this is, is it's a wireless thermostat that's gonna use the thermostat as the sensing location. This may help in correcting the overshooting. The second and last most common problem with overshooting actually revolves around a multi-zone system or an MXZ. If the zones are crossed, we typically experience where one room has to be on all the time in order for the other room to work or this room always is overcooling and this room is never cooling. In order to fix that problem, you'll need to diagnose and repair the cross wiring. Keep in mind that overshooting cases tend to be pretty rare, and these are only a few of the reasons why it could be happening. For additional information, please feel free to visit www.mylinkdrive.com. We hope you enjoyed the video, if there's a topic you would like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of tech tips and homeowner help.